We're getting closer to that jamming tower. I hope the Admiral is all right. There are so many Geth here already. Clean up, crews. The Geth never learn to take survivors. came so far. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're gonna find him. Let's get to that jamming tower. Shepard! I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. Rolling down there. I'm on it. Needs to take those AA guns offline. Tally, you take the guns. No problem. Get dropping from orbit. Got it. Come <laughs> on. 
down the two by the tower. My message <laughs> sent out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorm hats. I... Uh, I clean engine parts. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I saw I could buy the other civilians time. Fight some geth. 
There were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Don't move. We've got Medigel. Oh, I lost too much blood. Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy that jamming tower. And you can radio him. We'll find him, Dorn. I promise. Please. Listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Gorus can get us out alive. And my son. Tell him. Tell Jonah that his father made it to the home world. We will. Rest well, Dorn has the Vasrenok. Let's get to that tower. should disable the gun, Shepard. I want you on this, Tally. Right. Shepard, you can use that gas turret. More incoming gas! Yes. 
collect data on the jamming towers. Could be useful. You on this tally. Right. Signal the shadow. didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't? Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? My surviving party found their way to a clearing. I'll upload their location. Stay together. We'll meet you there. No. The gates have cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. So will you. Non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them. Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Gotta go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. <laughs> Commander, unrest 
to spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back? Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Commander, we've located the Reaper base, transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to Creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth... beautiful. Indicative of life. It is. Commander! Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Maybe they don't have to die. Just because this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified, and they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes. It should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Geth fighter squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that fighter squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. I gave in to your reckless behavior before. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy off when it's time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So, pull them back. If I withdraw now, the Geth will flank us, and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Fine. I'll pull back the heavy fleet. And when we're taking fire from both sides, those deaths are on your heads. Thank you, Commander. It's difficult to keep him in line. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Shepard Commander. We'll talk later. We will remain here. The sergeant told me that Cerberus started out as an Alliance Black Ops. Black Ops always go bad. If you have to deny the action, it was a crappy action. You've got new messages, Commander. Admiral Chorus has the civilian fleet back in position. And just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them... They're like us, if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Commander?
watching the geth fleet move, it's like thousands of stunt flyers in formation creepy stunt flyers whose ships look like some sort of cockroach wasp thing nice job on the rescue mission commander the Corian civilians are getting hammered out there apparently putting a big ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought who knew you don't agree with the Quarians arming their live ships no the gun's nice but without armor they're just glass cannons they are also more likely to be targeted when armed the Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep you safe from the Geth, and themselves. Commander? What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proceed. Uh oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. Hello, Shepard. Heard about what happened down there, Commander. Got me thinking about the value of a good leader. And how many lives should be sacrificed to protect a truly inspired one. Hope I never have to find out. Nice work down there, Commander. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And synthetic life has attained true consciousness, as was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited. Let's simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. Get out of there. Spirits. Please watch over them. Let me see them again. I'm glad we could help those Quarians. Though I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? How's it going? Please, enjoy your 
more day. Perhaps we can talk later. Breaking now, the Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them, or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. Commander. I gotta say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rhino. Yeah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower, and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. You look tired. You sleeping well? Sir. Hey. Commander. <laughs> 